So we're gonna be doing some really cute blinged out mugs. And I just wanted to quickly share with you the supplies I got before we get started on putting that project together. It's Janelle here with Mama Bear Swag. And today we are going to finally get to work on this project that I've been trying to get to for so long. So while I'm home recovering from a horrible accident I got into, I can't sit too long because I start to getting excruciating pain. But the good news is this project that I'm getting ready to work on doesn't take long less than 30 minutes, literally a few minutes to whip up, put together and um, get to work. So we're gonna be doing some really cute blinged out mugs and I just wanted to quickly share with you the supplies I got before we get started on putting that project together. Okay, so the first thing we need is our Walmart transfer paper, transfer tape from Walmart. I don't know if you could see that. I got a lot of glare going on here. So this is from Walmart. I bought this in the kitchenware section and it was like five dollars and some chain. I do have a few mugs here. I bought all of these mugs. I have at least a total of seven of these, but we're working with just two today. So I got all these mugs from Dollar Tree, okay? These are from Dollar Tree, one dollar in the kitchen section, Dollar Tree. And I have some bling stones, rhinestones, and flat back pearls. Um, the bottom section is the flat back rhinestone. The top section is the flat back pearls. I got this from Michael's, Michael's Craft Stores. I'll be sure to leave the links down below where you can get the same exact things that I got. So now we need our tools. Don't forget, we need our pick-me-up tool. This is to be able to put the stones on the project. You're gonna need some ES6000 glue. This one is the bead and jewelry glue. I love this one. I got this from Michael's, but you can also get this from Walmart as well. And you're gonna need a bowl or tray to put the stones in. And the last piece we will need for this project, which is actually the first piece that we'll need for this project, is your SVG images. You need these, you need an SVG image. And what we do is take the image and we simply put it on the mug like that. And if you're right-handed like me, I hold my mug like this, which means I want the image here on the front, right? So we take the SVG image, we, we put it on here, and then we're gonna decorate this image, okay? We're gonna decorate this image. Now, I love making these mugs. They're great gift ideas for others. They're great for school teachers, for your children's school teacher. They're absolutely beautiful for coworkers. They're amazing for yourself. You can put them on your desk or you could put pencils and pens in them. People will walk by, oh my God, where did you get that from? You, you can simply make it yourself. Turn this craft idea into a little side hobby business and start making some money, okay? so. I am going to turn around now and get on my craft table and watch me start putting this cute little piece of project together. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell notification so you can be notified of new videos posted every single Tuesday showing you really fun and cute, simple DIY crafting projects that you can make yourself at home to either sell or give away to that special loved one. So let's get to it. All right, so the first thing we have to do here with this project is to be able to cut off a piece of the contact or transfer tape. So here is the shiny side, and of course, this is the matted rough side. So what you do is just take your image, and I'm just gonna measure it here, and just cut off a piece of transfer tape. We can put this aside so now that the transfer tape is cut this is, we're going to apply the, the paper on here like this so you want to peel it off
All right, so I'm gonna use the back of my scissors because I don't have a squeegee and I'm just gonna press with my finger. Press real hard. Save this piece for later. Oops. Hate wasting. I don't have a squeegee, so I like to use the back of my scissors. Now we're going to transfer the vinyl image on top of the mug. Okay, and here I'm just pressing really hard to make sure I get out any air bubbles or any air pockets using my thumb and you want to press extremely hard with the vinyl image on top of the mug to take out any air bubbles or any air pockets before you pull off the transfer tape. Okay, so this is how I hold my mug because I'm right-handed. Mm -hmm. 